Okay, so clearly we only have a few days left in this year. So clearly we are coming to the final days in the book of Revelation as well, which we've been kind of diving into this year. And today we uh, we come to a great banquet, but also a great battle in which the dark uh, the, the dark forces of the evil one are conquered and the evil one itself is done away with. And the scene begins with loud a huge crowd from heaven saying hallelujah salvation glory and power belong to our god his judgments are true and fair he has condemned the notorious prostitute who corrupted the world with her sexual sins he has taken revenge on her for the blood of his servants and of course this is coming on the heels of what we read yesterday in the downfall of babylon this world system ruled by evil fractures implodes is judged falls is done away with so we should observe the contrasts that are happening in today's reading right so babylon these dark forces of evil that have been controlling the world they fall apart they've been condemned the notorious prostitute that is this whole system has been condemned because it corrupted the world with her sexual sins so we could, you know, certainly go like, okay, this this evil empire is very, very sexual in nature. And so this is uh, definitely speaking about sexuality. But also we should understand that this kind of language from an allegorical perspective or a figurative view is about union. I mean, at the most basic level, that's what sex is. Union. Giving yourself over to someone. So these dark forces demanded worship, demanded loyalty and allegiance, demanded union. And the result of that was a war on God's people, a cosmic attempt to stamp out God's plan. That is in stark contrast to the second song or poem coming from this large crowd that, that is so big it sounds like raging waters. On the one hand, they're uh, applauding and worshiping God for the, the judgment, the downfall of evil. But then they have more to say. Hallelujah. The Lord our God, the Almighty, has become king. Let us rejoice, be happy, and give him glory because it's time for the marriage of the Lamb. His bride has made herself ready. She has been given the privilege of wearing dazzling, pure linen. So contrasted with the great prostitute or whore of Babylon, this bride was true and faithful and sought union with no one but God and gave her loyalty and devotion to no one but God. And then in the next scene, we see heaven standing open. There's a white horse with a rider on it named Faithful and True. And uh, he's, going, he's going to battle. And the armies of heaven wearing pure white linen, like we just talked about, are following along on white horses of their own. And a sharp sword comes out of his mouth to defeat the nations. Some scholars would say these are the angel armies. This is uh, Jesus with uh, the angel armies uh, going to finish the judgment, finish the final battle. Well, other scholars would say, no, this, this, these are God's people going along with Jesus to finish this final battle so that this banquet can begin. And an angel cries out to the birds, come gather for the great banquet of God. Eat the flesh of kings, generals, warriors, horses, and their riders, and all free people and slaves, both important and insignificant people. And it's been noted that this is probably a parody. So on the one hand, there is this great banquet, this great wedding feast where darkness and evil have no place and not only just have no place, it doesn't exist. This beautiful banquet, this consummation of all things being made new. And that contrasts with what the angel is saying to the birds. This is going to be this great banquet for you because all evil is being extinguished. 
So it's like two sides of the same coin. On the one side, there is judgment. On the other side, there is salvation. And so the battle commences. And the beast and the false prophet, who had done miracles for the beast, were captured and were subsequently thrown into the fiery lake of burning sulfur. So the forces that were at work in this dark, evil kingdom were cast away. And the rider on the horse, on the white horse, had a sword coming out of his mouth and finished the battle. And a great banquet happened for the birds, even as a great banquet in heaven is getting ready to begin. And Father, we thank you for your word. This is the 362nd day of this year, and every day we have feasted upon your word. And there are just a few days remaining, and we invite your Holy Spirit to continue to speak deeply to us, transforming us on so many levels. We are most certainly at the place that we can look in the mirror and see that we're not the same as we were when we started this journey on January 1st. And we're thankful for that. We've been through plenty. It's been a challenging year. But you have been faithful. And you have guided us through your word and through the power of your Holy Spirit. And we're grateful. This builds confidence in our faith. You are maturing us. And so we welcome this to continue. And even though we will finish this year, and we will finish it well, we look forward to all that you will speak to us through your word in the coming year. Come Holy Spirit, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>